without explaining on chapter 10, light for class 10. Light plays a very important role in our life because it helps us to see the object around us. It is the light that makes things visible. Light not only helps us to see the object around us, but it is also required by plants in order to synthesize their own food and in which return give us food. There are uncountable phenomena associated with light, such as image formations of by mirror, lens, tingling of stars, the beautiful colors of rainbow, and so on. So in this chapter, we will learn in detail about light. First of all, let us see what is light or what is meant by light. Light is a form of energy that produces a sensation of sight when it enters into our eyes. It is also a form of energy that enables us to see the object around us, or we can say that light is an electromagnetic wave that travels through any medium like air, water, glass, and through empty spaces. We also have two types of objects depending upon the light that is luminous and non-luminous object. First of all, let us see what is luminous object. Luminous objects are those objects that emit their own light. They are also known as natural source of light, example sun. Second one is non-luminous object. Non-luminous objects are the objects that does not emit their own light. They are known as man-made or artificial source of light, example candles. Next we have two phenomena of light. First one is reflections of light and refraction of light. Today I'll be explaining about reflections of light. Let us see what is reflections of light or what is mean by reflections of light. When a beam of light passes through the medium, it is striped on a smooth surface and bounces back to the same medium that is known as reflections of light. Or then the phenomenon of bouncing back to light on the same medium after striking on a smooth surface is known as reflections of light. There are certain terms related to reflections of light. Let us understand the half of that plane here. The first one is known as an incident gap. This incident gap, the ray of light that strikes on the surface, that particular point on the ray is known as an incident gap. After the light is strike on the surface of the plane mirror, it can be strike or bounce back to the same medium that is known as a reflected gap. And then, the perpendicular drawn between this incident ray and the reflected ray that is known as the normal ray. And then the angle between the incident ray and the normal ray, this particular angle is known as the point of incidence. So, again, the angle between the point of incidence and the incident ray that is known as angle of incidence. And then the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is known as the angle of Reflections. So, again, there are two types of laws of reflection. The first law states that this incident ray and reflected ray and the normal all together lie on the same plane. That is known as a point of incident. Since the light coming from the medium strikes on the plane on the surface in point of incident, again, it comes back to the same medium that is known as a reflected ray. And then the Perpendicular from between this incident ray and the reflected ray, they all together lie in the same ray that is known as point of incident. And the second law states that the angle between this incident ray and the reflected ray, they are always equal to each other. You can see in the diagram clearly that this particular angle and this particular angle, they will be equal to each other. So, second law states that the angle of incidence and the angle of reflections are always equal to each other. Types of mirror. There are two types of mirror that is, blend mirror and spherical mirror. First, let us see what is a blend mirror. A blend mirror is a sheet of glass with one surface coated with a reflecting material like silver and tin. A blend mirror forms a virtual image. A virtual image cannot be captured on screen. This blend mirror is commonly used in homes and shops. It is also used in office and showrooms. Spherical mirror. 
This spherical mirror is a part of spherical reflecting surfaces. The spherical mirror are of two types, convex and concave. Convex mirror. A convex mirror is a curved mirror in which the reflecting surface bulges towards the source of light. Convex mirror is also known as diverging mirror, whereas concave mirror is a mirror that has a reflecting surface that curves inwards. It is also known as converging mirror. One example of concave and convex mirror are take a large highly polished spoon and view your face in it. If you look closely at it, you will find that the surface of the spoon curve inwards can be compared to concave mirror and the surface of the spoon pouch outwards can be compared to as concave mirror. All of us know what is the image and these images are also of two types. First, let us see what is the image. An image is a board or a region near an area of light Converge after reflections or near the area after diverging. And then this image are of two lines, real image and in virtual image. Let us see what is a real image. A real image is an image that converge. That means example of real images. Let me see a movie in a cinema hall. The image appear on the screen that is known as a real image. This image, this real image are always inverted and then they appear. Whereas virtual image, this virtual image they do not appear on the screen and then they are diverged. So this virtual image cannot be appear on the screen and one example 